one second while I finish fixing things up and get my angles right. I'm gonna welcome everybody today. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been on here, but that's all gonna change. Hello and uh, welcome to Dark Age Growing. I'm Andrew, and I'm just. Happy to be here. Weather is a nice 75 degrees. We'll have uh, an, a definitive answer on the temperature real soon. I've actually got some thermometers from a company to do a review on them this week. Let me just check to make sure that we're actually online. Yep, we're online. Awesome. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm out of practice. <laughs> Please uh, feel free to, to ask me questions. I, I didn't have a whole lot planned to start the day off. Um, I'll take you around what's growing in the garden right now and where I'm uh, getting ready to plant. Hello, LC, uh, LAC. Uh, let me just go ahead and spin things around and show you what's growing in the garden right now. And we will go from there. Be sure to ask me questions throughout and I'll make sure to get to them as soon as I can. Hello Beast Slayer, how's it going? Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Give me a one if you can hear me. So what I was saying about these uh, beans was that... Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, so what I was saying about the beans was that these are a dragon tongue bush bean. They were sold as a semi-bush, but they are not acting like a semi-bush. The, uh, they, they decided to grow all the way up. Now it's showing, but now I've got bad sun. Uh, growing up the wall here. And that tendril right here is actually uh, some of the bush bean. Uh, not bush bean. <laughs> and uh, this is some of the purple spotted corn. A little bit scruffy. Didn't like the fact that it was super shady over here. My sweet potato slips, they got in late. I'm hoping that they'll have time to go before... 
uh, I get a frost. They need 120 days. So from the time that you plant sweet potatoes to the time that you harvest them, they need about 120 days. My sunchokes, they're still growing over here. Got some that are pushing 10, 12 feet. They're not flowering yet. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought they'd be flowering by now. Um, I've got a lot of empty space over here in the garden. Got some more soil that I added here. Some vegetation that I'm working on pulling out. My carrots that I planted a few weeks ago, only a few of them set and that just seems to be what happens. This area over here dried out. This area over here stayed nice and moist. So I got carrot and I got weeds. Tomato plants. Hey there, uh, my sky's 5D. How's it going? How's the sunchokes doing? You planted some of them? I know you pickled some of them. So these tomatoes are doing really well. I had to pull one of my tomato plants. Um, it just never pulled out of its funk. It was always giving me blossom end rot. Zucchini's still doing good. Enriched, how's it going? Oh, jeez. Ah, sorry about the move, the... The shaky movement, guys. Had to not step on a cat. Speaking of a kitty cat. Hey there, buddy. How's it going, Jasper? <laughs> and now, yeah. The zucchini. I, I've got quite a few zucchinis off it. I decided I was going to let one on each plant go to... Uh... Uh, go to seed. So I wanted to see just how big a zucchini I could get. Well, that's how big a zucchini I could get. Yeah, I've got, uh, I see that uh, you had a tomato that thinks it's vine. It's everywhere. Yeah, I, I know that one. This tomato. It's an early girl tomato that uh, I never got to trimming it up. This one was a bush tomato. It did pretty good. Got another zucchini over here that I'm letting go to seed. Unemployment. Yeah, no fun. I... Well, I quit my job um, in May. So I was not able to apply for the unemployment. Uh, when the bonuses came through and all that fun stuff. It would have been nice to have had that money, but uh, I've been working gig work. And, uh, yeah. So, I don't know oops, if it's going to hold still long enough. But I might have a, a uh, 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 might have a killer wasp over here. <laughs> what what were those called? Murder wasps. Yeah, he's buzzing around pretty quick. Nope. Not gonna get a picture of it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let's see. Nope. Not gonna get him. Oh my gosh. That thing was huge. So, my corn plants. I am 
really pleased with how my corn's doing. This was the peaches and cream sweet corn. I planted it in the middle of uh, June and it is actually tasseling almost all at the same time so I'm really happy with that. Still don't have the silks formed on it yet but I cleared all of my pollen heads off of the uh, popcorn that I had growing next to them before this one started going to, to uh, put its pollen out so that I don't get any um, popcorn kernels in my sweet corn. But my popcorn's doing good. Growing them in little grow bags down here. Whoops. I'm on a, I have you guys on the tripod so I have to keep balancing it around. But uh, I think that's just about everything that I wanted to show right now. All of my trees and, and berries. Got some strawberries thinking that it's time to put out some more. I had some raspberries uh, that put on a second batch of raspberries. The weather's been weird. Um, we can talk about the weather in just a minute. Yeah, the, the weather's definitely been weird. <laughs> but... What type of things are you guys planting right now? Are you guys planting your fall garden going into the, uh, going into the winter? And... I just want to know what your guys' challenges have been. Oh, sure. What's going on with the sky? Let's see. Oh, it's been uh, pretty clear. Like, really nice blue sky here. Except for one little... One little normal trail. Nothing, nothing too crazy in the sky. It's actually been really nice. But, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing much clouds clouds on the horizon only so let me go ahead and get back down here where you guys can see me and we can just chit chat for a little while there we go Spin you around and around. And adjust. There we go. Hello from hello from Florida. Yeah, it's nice that this guy's been clear for sure. I we have really lucked out this year. We haven't had the the issues with the smoke. We haven't had the issues with the airplanes. I mean, how few airplanes there are, even living right across the river from Portland. There's just been so few planes in the air. It's really weird. Hey, Eddie, no worries. No worries, you. Uh, you just missed my, my walk around. Um, let's see here. Planted the artichokes, but I... Oops. Moved. Oh, I'll have to go back over there and, and get some soon, uh, and get them back soon. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks that you had uh, that you had to move. Or was it a was it a good thing that you moved? I don't know. Just readjusting the camera. Sorry about the jiggles. There we go. Now I can see everybody, see everything that's going on. Let me go through the the chat just a little bit. All right. So Central Washington.
I'm just scrolling through the chat real quick, just going back through. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, okay, so my sky is 5D. Heard if you grow jalapenos in the same pot as the tomato vine, the tomatoes will be spicy. I'm not sure of that. Um, I think I've heard that too. But I, I haven't ever had a chance to test it. Bell peppers uh, definitely um, could cross with the chili pepper. And their, their offspring would be spicy. Um, Margaret River, Australia. Margaret River, Australia. Oh, okay. I have a friend there with uh, that's growing cannabis. Blessings waiting on the Jerusalem artichokes. Can't wait to order. Hey, smile. Um, if you're wanting to, I have them up on my website as a pre-order. And I can get a bat shipped out to you as soon as I uh, dig them. I have to wait till they die off from... Uh, from the the frost, but um, sorry, I've got an extra thing showing up. There we go. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I just have to wait for them to, to die out from the frost. So it's still another two months before I'd be shipping them. Got dollar store seeds and they were slightly spicy. Hmm. Uh, I. It can happen, depending on where they're, uh, depending on where they're planted, and also the ground. Um. If the ground has. Oh, geez. Different different minerals in the ground can actually affect the, how much spice they have too. Um, let's see, I'm getting ready to be planting my lettuce and some more kale. Uh, probably, bro uh, probably, for me, it's getting a little bit too late to be starting, um, starting broccoli. But kale, beets, uh, lettuce, spinach, all great stuff to be planting right now. Going into the fall, uh, if you're not planting anything, going into the fall is a great time to be adding um, adding amendments to your beds and getting it ready for next year's spring. So as you pull out your plants. Uh, so Gene W, I'm in Washington State, but I live right across the river from Portland. I'm in Southwest Washington State, Vancouver, Washington. Uh, zone 8. So, my first frost is usually late October. How about you guys? Yep. Portland, Oregon. Middle of, uh... Let's see, Enriched Refuge says, I planted radishes, kale, spinach, chard, and lettuce from my own seed on August 9th, the day that she left to go visit her son in Alaska. And uh, they're all growing great. Hey, an Alaska trip, that would be pretty awesome. How, how was the weather up there in Alaska? My dog being a little bit loud. Let 
Mid-Atlantic variable weather. First fro fall frost is December 7th. My gosh, I could be having snow December 7th. I've had snow, it, just, it was a couple years ago, but I had snow um, for Thanksgiving. Houston, Texas uh, for CM and uh, Gene W is 09. Anyone else have a black screen? No, maybe. Let me see. Nope. Black screen. Uh, yeah, screen's good on my end too. I just had to grab a different phone and check. Restart the, um, yeah, restart the device, restart the browser, um, refresh. I've had issues with that before, um, where the, where the screen would go black on a stream. I could still hear, but, uh, no. Okay, Eastern Oregon, hot, dry summer. Yeah, uh, it's been mild, dry summer for us here. We've hit 100 degrees once. We usually have 7 to 10 100 degree days. Um, CT Mom Main Garden is now moving into its prime. October 24th is my first frost date. Planted more carrots, peas, and plan on, on more. Um, let's see. Gene W. First frost date is December 28th. Gene W. Wow. December 28th. I would love to have a December 28th frost date. Here we go. Yep, that's the type of questions that I like. Andrew, do you think we'll have any impact from the Grand Solar Minimum on growing? Yes. Um, I'm planning on putting in a greenhouse here for um, over winter. I have a uh, really lightweight frame and I have a ton of, um, of visqueen. I'm going to double layer the visqueen to um, protect my garden beds and keep a uh, bunch of the salad beds growing. I also have some grow lights and I'm working on installing some more solar panels uh, just to be safe. Um, Okay, Wolfsbane Hollow. My carrots are on day 77. Greens are still spindly. So, I've had that happen before. The greens look spindly even at uh, 70 days. Um, we, um, the, the plants, so long as they're getting enough water, um, should still develop a decent root. Uh, consistent watering is the key to good carrot growth. Um, Gene W, I have to plant more. I'm a new gardener. I have plants in pots. Um, yeah, the container gardening is great and can be done no problem. Um, lots of things can grow in containers of all sizes going down to a couple gallons um, pot you got your greens you get your your deeper pots and you get your root vegetables uh, five gallon buckets do great for tomatoes potatoes um, a couple of corn plants two or three corn plants could go into uh, to go into a five gallon bucket even um, Let's see here. Impact from higher UV radiation we're taking on. I have seen that happen. I've been growing more things in part shade. Um, I, I find that um, the, the leaves on a lot of my plants were getting scorched. I actually lost uh, the first large batch of leaves off of my... Um, my grapevines. My grapevines actually lost a large portion of their leaves. Cold frames. I've built one cold frame in the past and uh, it did well. Um, you have to make sure that you insulate the sides of it, um, build them up with something uh, sturdy, 
And then, yeah, having a, a glass slider door, windows, uh, even just a couple layers of stretched clear plastic will give a lot of protection to, uh, to grow in, for sure. Um, thanks, I'm glad you're liking the way I'm thinking. Uh, my sky's 5D. Uh, it's an ideal time to plant. Uh, here says Eddie. And uh, will, be, will I be growing inside for all winter growing? Yes. I've got three um, low wattage um, full spectrum grow lights from Brad over at um, Hidden Harvest, the Hidden Harvest Company. I'll leave a link in the description after this video is done. And he's he's got some great lights. I, I turned them on. I, I just did a quick test on them. I've got a video. Um, I'll link that in the description also showing what they look like. And yeah, I'll definitely be growing over the winter. I have to find a good spot to set them up. Uh, my storage unit, I ended up having to close it out. So right now all of my uh, empty storage areas are currently full. Uh, CM Gene, uh, me too. I plant uh, my entire yard. Have plenty to share. It's learning, it's a learning curve, um, but it's getting better all the time. Great to hear. Enriched. Um, oh, good. Uh, so Cordova, Alaska, um, 50 to 65 degrees. Part uh, rain, partly uh, for the days you were there. Um, but it was gorgeous. Um, it was ABC sweating. Uh, oh, sunshine. Yeah. Um, sweating visit. Saw most everything uh, from driving around to the end of the roads. Longest road is 36 miles. Huh. Uh, Gene W, my spinach is doing great. I have potatoes in five gallon buckets. I need to plant more tomatoes. Uh, first batch is done. Oh yeah, you have time to, to grow another batch of tomatoes, definitely. Uh, some cherry tomatoes or any of the, the smaller tomatoes that get up to uh, two, three ounces in size should be able to do it. Um, Andrew, time for sunshades. Uh, on a on a greenhouse, I would definitely be putting the the sunshades up. Um, yeah, and I've um, been talking with some people in Arizona, and they have to put up the the shade cloth more often. Also, um. Wolf's Bane Hollow this year was sort of an experiment. See what I could grow. If anything, potatoes and carrots, five gallon buckets, a couple of tomatoes and raised beds. Had trouble figuring out the watering. Yeah, watering. Watering can be can be an issue. Um, I have issues with watering too. Um, I don't know what it is. They a lot of people say water your garden once a week. Uh, give them an inch of water. It's tough to it's tough to water things an inch at a time. Um, yeah, tough to water things the right, the right way. Uh, my five, uh, my Skype's 5D put out a solid red tarp in the yard a month and a half ago. It's turned white. There's no more red left of the UV. Yeah, the UV bleached it all. Definitely. I've seen that happen a time or three. Um, leaf curl on tomatoes. Um, there's not enough water. It can be not enough water, leaf curl. Um, cracking the tomatoes is when you actually water them too much after they've had a amount of time where they didn't have water. Planting onions, garlic, and spinach tomorrow. Planting garlic? I, personally, I don't plant my garlic until the week. Well, no. I take that back. I plant my garlic, yeah, in October, October, November. So at or around first frost is when I plant garlic. Garlic. Um. 
So yeah, there's UV netting or netting that would um, protect um, from a certain amount of UV. Shade cloth in general will just reduce the, the total amount of UV. So that would help. Greenhouse kit that covers my uh, cedar, raised beds, there, and the growing tables. Okay, cool. Uh, we're putting out planting uh, spinach, kale, more charred lettuce this week to carry me forward. Yep. Scorching on the leaves. I wasn't planting, or planning on it, but I'm going to plant tomorrow. This chap made me want to. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I'm glad I could help. Um, spikes for the potted plants. Oh, the water spikes. Oh, self-watering spikes. Those are good. Those are good. CT Mom, no starts on onions or garlic available for planting here till it's too late in the year. Got my starts at the supermarket garlic clove seed. Uh, saved from last year onion, went to seed. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. Um, I've mostly herbs and tomatoes. My lemongrass is doing well. I have trouble growing lemongrass. I, I haven't been able to get it growing right. Um, first time growing it. My cats love my basil. So my harvest so far is about three leaves. Yeah, I grew the... Um, oh, geez, what did I grow? I, I, I grew a bunch of catnip to, to keep my cats off of my other plants. Eddie Bardot intentionally saved four heads of garlic. Nothing sourced from China International. Yeah, so I have um, elephant garlic that I'm going to be planting real soon because it is, uh, I dug it up, dried it out, and I'll be planting that soon. Uh, ginger or garlic, uh, ginger or turmeric. It's a slow growing plant. Uh, you wouldn't get a harvest off it this year. I'd say you could start it. Uh, and you will need to put it under cover, possibly grow it indoors uh, during the winter because it doesn't like the, uh, the cooler temperatures at all. So, let me see. Just looking at something, okay. Oh, great. Okay, so I'm going to have to look down at my at my other phone to read the chat now. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading the chat. My, uh, my top screen stopped uh, recording the chat. So, LAC planted my ginger in the spring, have to harvest it before first frost. Um, all the plant is edible. Yes, exactly. So ginger, definitely. The greens actually have a stronger flavor. They are great in smoothies. Uh, so during the season, I would use the greens and uh, then save the, the tubers for my long-term storage to keep the nutrients and uh, the benefits of a ginger. Um, earwig problems. Cabbage is growing, but eaten as fast as it grows by earwigs. <sighs> earwigs. Oh, so with earwigs, uh, Sluggo Plus. I know it, it's a, a slug and, um, slug and snail, but it also has the Plus, which has a couple of, uh, I, I think it's a Spino... Um, oh, I can't remember the other ingredient in it now, but it goes after the earwigs, the pill bugs, and a few other insects like that. So the Sluggo Plus is actually really good uh, for taking care of the earwigs. Um, so kale. If you're getting your kale started now, I actually wouldn't worry about growing it under cover for the most part, unless you're going to hit oh under 20 degrees uh, for uh, several days in a row. I wouldn't worry about growing kale under cover. 
I grew my kale here all winter um, before and it hit 13 degrees a couple of nights and it just kept on chugging along and then in the spring I let it bolt as it was warming up to give me more seed. I, uh, I have some video of my seed harvesting technique for kale and uh, that also works with any of the other um, the other plants that are in the same family so it would work for radishes or beets and uh, and things like that um, yep earwigs soapy water yeah picking them off soapy water Something chewed on my kohlrabi. It's now regrowing its leaves. Time for some netting. Spinocide. Perfect. Um, Cusiana, you got it right. That's the, that, that's right. It's the spinocide. Um, something chewing on your... on your kohlrabi leaves. Netting would probably help. Um, yeah. I don't know. You might even have rabbits. I've had rabbit issues before with uh, chewing on my leaves. Unless it's smaller holes, then yeah, you're you're looking at your cabbage, uh, cabbage worms, um, caterpillars, those types of things. Really like to chew on 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 those leaves. Uh, CT Mom, great. Uh, sa saving seeds from your radishes, awesome, super easy. Uh, you just wait for the seed pods to dry out on on those types of plants. You got it. And uh, I'm glad to hear that you saved your seeds and you're getting ready to, to plant the, the brassicas. Yes. That's the family. I've been busy at home and... Uh, been been doing a lot of other things. Haven't had a whole lot of time put into um, into my gardens or into studying up on what I want to talk about. I'm really sorry that I've been lacking on videos for you guys. Um, starting next week, my kids going back to school at home, but my my wife's going to be. Uh, here taking care of things with the kids and freeing me up to work on my website um, plug that real quick um, for those of you here glad you're here uh, I'm gonna put a um, link to my website in the description I don't know if you guys all know but I sell garden seeds heirloom garden seeds and I've got a lot of the things on sale. I'm working on switching over pricing for the fall, as well as running 20% uh, off coupons for those of you that can find them and uh, put them in. Uh, I'll put a coupon down in the description below this time for 20% off. It's uh, SAVE20, the number 20, so SAVE20, all one word no capitals and that'll take 20% off of anything on the website um, I've actually still got a few seed varieties that never made it up I've been so busy with other things it's super annoying that uh, that my website I, I didn't have time to work on it as much as I wanted to but uh, I'm glad that you guys were here and I want to make sure that I get to all of your questions. So uh, in the next 15 minutes or so, um, let's just kind of hammer through a few more questions. Hey, Wolfsbane, hollow, uh, glad, um, glad you're liking what you're seeing. Um, let's see here. Going back through the list just a little bit. Garden is fenced in. Okay, yeah, the 12 gate. Okay, the, the fencing, so that'll stop the rabbits. Um, radish seed, super simple to save. Purslane, that's good stuff. Yeah, it's almost like a weed, but it's great. Uh, full, of, full of vitamins. Uh, I think it has a lot of vitamin A. Um, 
Growing dried beans for the first time, says CT Mom, I planted them, basically leaving them alone until I can harvest them in the fall and save seeds for eating. Perfect. That's, that's exactly it. You leave them on the plant, you let the plants dry out, and the seed, uh, the beans will go to seed that way. Super easy to harvest, and you don't have to do anything extra to the seeds, except for when you take them out of the pods, you break them open, leave them in a paper bag or a fabric bag for um, an extra week or two after you've collected them and bring them inside to let them fully dry out before moving them to plastic or glass. Always make sure that you give them plenty of time to, to dry out fully. If you are going into a wet batch of time and your beans are hanging on the plant basically dried out or mostly dried out, pull the plant, pull the whole plant out of the ground, hang it upside down somewhere dry under a, a um, porch, in your garage, in a shed. Let them dry out fully in their pods in a dry location so that they don't get moist. I've had them stay dry in the pod over winter outside on a fence. It works sometimes, but if you live in an area with high humidity or a lot of rain, um, don't leave them outside for the whole time. Bring them inside in their pod, let them finish drying out or pop them out of their pod put them in a fabric bag, a paper bag, let them dry out that way for a couple weeks. Um, let's see here. I grow my radishes for the early tender pod, seed pods. Seed pods, yeah. I've heard that. I actually haven't eaten um, radish seed pods. I'll have to try that um, either later this fall or, um, or next year. Are they as spicy as um, radishes? More spicy, less spicy? Um, I'd love to know. Um, so that was the niche refuge. Um, CT Mom, thanks for buying seeds. I, I'm glad you've been enjoying them. Oh, anybody that buys seeds, I have um, the option on the site for people to leave uh, reviews of the seeds. Um, I also have... Um, the email address is um, listed around and I'd love it if I could get some pictures if I can get some pictures I can either send you guys some more free seeds some coupons and th uh, some special deals um, I, I want to help you guys all out as much as possible and I'd love to see how things are growing in your garden so if you guys wouldn't mind sending me um, pictures I'll leave a um, I'll leave a link to my email in the description below this video, but it's uh, photos, P-H-O-T-O-S, photos, at darkagegrowing.com. If you can leave an a, a attachment with some photos there, or a review on the website of things that you've um, gotten from me, that'd be great. I'd love to see how everything's going, and the reviews really help. Um, let's see here, awesome on the coupon, thank you. Check out the website. Um, sorry, looking through the list of everybody, uh, what everybody's saying. Awesome coupon, yep, definitely. Uh, it'll be it'll be listed below so that you guys can find it. I've been putting a bunch of stuff up on lower prices. I mean, right now, um, I even got some of my seeds going up in bulk. Or um, bulk quantities like the um, oh some of my bush beans the contender bush bean a half pound is is six and a quarter right now so that's that's a lot of bush bean but going into these uncertain times you never know and bush beans one of those beans that if you save it right dry cool place uh, you'll get a good germination rate even a couple years down the line um, deliberately creative, 
Um, you've got tomatoes starting to come off your volunteer tomato plants. That's great. Uh, glad those are going well for you. Um, black turtle, navy pea, Jacob's cattle, paper bag uh, is what my family does. Perfect. Uh, CT mom, that's great to hear. Uh, that, I'm, I'm glad you're doing it the right way. Uh, CM, came from Alaska Prepper. Hey, that's great. Alaska Prepper is a great guy. Uh, for anybody that, that's here uh, who doesn't know, Alaska Prepper channel is awesome. He posts regularly, a couple times a week, and uh, does a live stream usually every Sunday. Uh, keep an eye out for that. He's full of knowledge and uh, always has great information. I try to make it to his live streams on a regular basis. Last week, I actually um, uh, went ahead and did a, a giveaway on his channel, and I'll be sending out the, the, the packets full of, um, of cool weather seeds real soon uh, for those people that won on that channel. Um, we're real close to 1,500 subs. If you know people that you think would like the, this channel, get, um, share this channel out and uh, make sure you like this video and if you haven't subscribed already give uh, give this video the, yeah, give my channel a uh, hit the subscribe button on the channel that'd be so helpful after we get to 1500 subscribers I'm gonna do another giveaway possibly next week and I think yeah, uh, definitely a seed giveaway uh, next week or the week after. Is, it'll be the week after we hit 1500. And I also have a uh, digital thermometer. I'm doing a review on two digital thermometers this week. And I'm going to be giving them, one of them away uh, after I hit 1500. Uh, let's see here. CT uh, Mom, New England, all sorts of weather. Radish greens are great in salad. No, the seed pods, seed pods are not spicy. Citrusy. Okay, uh, Eddie, thank you. I will actually definitely try that. Um, okay, using um, CT Mom, using some of them this fall. We'll um, look forward to some pictures. That'd be great. Um, Yep, photos at darkagegrowing.com. Perfect. Thank you, Eddie. Um, Gene W. That would be awesome. Seeing other people's seeds that you grow. Uh, my tomatoes won't go ripe before the woodpeckers and grasshoppers drill through them. Um, Anna, definitely net them or block them off from something. Grasshoppers eating the... the the tomatoes, I haven't had that issue. I've got grasshoppers, but I don't think I've had them eating on my tomato plants. Um, is it too late, too late to plant peas in... No. Um, in, in Northeast PA? No. Plant them now, and even up to a light, a light frost, uh, they, they can take a light frost and depending on their size um, and the trellis method that you use drape a blanket over them if you think that you're getting a frost uh, if it's going to be a heavier frost drape a blanket over the trellis that you're growing them on and that should usually be enough uh, to protect your pea plants um, radish or early pods uh, gentle tangy spice Uh, if I get time, look at wet, wet wood slime flow disease. Okay. I will definitely look into that one. I Or flux disease. I will. Um, is it a fungus? Uh, I vaguely recall that being a fungus. But I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, somebody said surprises. 
Yeah, CT Mom, yes, I, I can tell that, uh, that, that you've got, uh, farming, uh, people. Oh, okay. Uh, so there was a retra retracted comment. Uh, Pam Sloan, I'm replanting a few weeks ago. Southwest Connecticut, they're doing great. PA is comparable. Yep. I've read that if you roasted quarter radish in the oven with a little salt and pepper, they're mild, almost potato-like. I plan to try it. Um, yeah, that would be worth a shot. I, I actually like um, roasted rutabagas. Roasted rutabagas is great. Um, dice them up into to cubes or, or wedges. Uh, same thing, butter and salt in the oven. Uh, really great way to, to eat up some of those rutabagas. Um, it's bacterial infection. Okay, I'll look into that. Um, my sky is 5D. Uh, so Gene W, they are heirloom. 90% of the seeds that I have on my website are heirloom. Uh, the only ones that were not heirloom or open pollinated are the corn. There's just not a lot of fast growing um, sweet corn varieties. So I've got a few of those that are standard hybrid um, corn varieties. But all of the beans and uh, tomatoes I think just about everything else on the website is heirloom, so that you'll be able to save the seeds and replant. Um, dollar store seeds, they can be, uh, they can grow just fine. Uh, I usually don't have any issues with the dollar store seeds. And some of the, some of the seeds that I sell on my website for 55 cents are uh, comparable to the, the dollar store seeds. I get the seed packets and uh, that's how I'm able to sift them out for 55 cents because they're they're very comparable to the dollar store seeds. Um, LAC we plant what we can, still better than no food. Yes. Um, Eddie Bordeaux those were the only ones I found by the time I decided to plant something other than tomato and basil. Yeah, so the seeds at the dollar store, um, they sold out quick this year. I mean, pretty much seeds everywhere sold out quick this year, and there was a bit of a shortage going on. Certain varieties just weren't available, and uh, I know when I started my website, places weren't shipping seeds very quick or their websites were shut down and their warehouses were closed. One of my wholesalers that I was trying to buy from, their, their warehouse was closed down and I ended up getting a different batch of seeds than what I ordered. They told me that that's what was going to happen and uh, that's actually how I ended up having as many flower seeds as I did on the website this year. I wasn't originally planning for it, but... Uh, I'm, I'm happy I did. I've, they've managed to sell most of those seeds, and I'm, I'm really pleased with the way the website uh, has been doing. Um, it's a couple more minutes till 5 o'clock. I'm pretty much going to wrap this up around 5, uh, my time. Uh, let's see here. See so yeah, Mom Eddie spent uh, money getting the land cleared and fenced, so... Went with all starts this year, seeds for later, uh, and the seeds that, that you had. And, oops. Whoopsie. Roll the rock into my tripod. Ah! Hold on. Okay. Seed shortage 2020. That's why I'm stocked up now for next year. Perfect. Yeah, um, harvests have been pretty good uh, this year in general. It's it's we've been lucky. Uh, yes, we lost a lot of corn here in the U.S. Uh, in um, in a few states, and prices change. Uh, but the, the harvest so far have been going really well. We've been lucky that that's the case. 
the the prices of our food would be way worse if the harvest were worse and the the oil prices have been low we haven't been using it there's been a bit of a surplus oil that's what's been keeping the, the food prices down going into the fall and winter though it's hard to say if that's going to hold out for us there's a lot of uh, uncertainty in the cards going into the fall and winter what are you guys thinking is uh, is likely to happen we're uh, Yeah, we're, we're coming out of, so I'm going to talk just a tiny bit on Grand Solar Minimum right now, for those of you that are in the know. Um, solar Cycle 24 is pretty much done. We're coming out of the minimum for, the, for this cycle, going into uh, Cycle 25. And um, for those of you that are interested in uh, following the science on that, uh, and the predictions. I actually recommend um, it's a smaller channel of of the the batch of Grand Solar Minimum channels, but the Grand Solar Minimum uh, is, is a great channel. Um, Mari and um, oh, now I can't remember his name. Ah, oh geez, uh, but. Uh, over there at the Grand Solar Minimum channel, they were talking today and yesterday about NOAA coming out with their new sunspot predictions. Go check out what they've got to say there, and uh, NOAA admitting that lower sunspot counts uh, could have a um, relation to the amount of clouds that we get. It's it's really interesting read, it's really interesting to hear all the science that's going on with that, but. I feel a lot of the country's in for a tough winter, and uh, the, the politics, I don't like talking politics, but the politics of the season, it's not looking pretty. Okay, so going back just a little bit. Um, seed shortage 2020, okay. That's why you're stocked up now, CT Mom. Um, already canning every week, so glad. Yeah, I need to get to canning. Uh, I need to get canning. I've got a bunch of stuff uh, put away um, in the freezer. I, I freeze my tomatoes if I can't get to canning them uh, real quick. And my green beans, I've got a ton of it in the fridge that I probably left there a little long. But I'm going to get some of those um, canned real, real quick. Uh, what I grew up at my grandpa's uh, was the contender green beans, and I got several gallon size bags. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, got several gallon size bags. Uh, collected the green beans from there. Uh, recommended way of storing seeds for Gene W. In the refrigerator. Yeah, I would save my seeds if I know that I'm going to take more than one year to plant my seeds. I would plant, I would save them in plastic bags, containers, or glass jars. Um, keep them in their original packaging, plastic baggies, or paper, uh, paper packages. Put them in a glass jar and, um, and just seal the, the jar up either with an oxygen absorber or put a uh, moisture absorber into the glass jar, close it down. Or the, bag, or the baggie, whatever way it is, and put it in the back of the refrigerator. Uh, it's okay to put them in the freezer if they're going to stay there for longer, but taking them in and out of the freezer uh, can actually damage them, especially if they're not perfectly dry. Um, LAC, lucky to be surrounded by farmers now that um, I'm purchased and preserving. Definitely plan better for next year. Um, for your information, I buy a bag of organic potatoes at the grocers, let them have ice. Yeah, that's how I do my potatoes a lot of times, um, is buying the organic potatoes and replanting. I had some non-organic potatoes that had the um, sprout 
inhibitor sprayed on them and yeah they don't look good when the sprouts try to start coming out of them um still i will not perfectly okay um gene w you ordered a presto canner great that, that's great to hear um more shortages escalating prices recession depression um ct mom i i agree unfortunately things are not looking not looking great not looking great uh I live right across the river from Portland, Oregon. They're on day 92 or 3 of protests, and the downtown area is just destroyed. It is sad. I've, um, I've hit the outskirts of downtown in my, um, in my deliveries that I'm doing. I, I do DoorDash and Instacart delivering food uh, to make ends meet right now. Uh, it, it's a decent model, it's gig work, but it, it, it works well enough. Make a couple hundred a week doing that. Um, things are getting much worse over the next few years. See, um, Grand Solar Minimum Channel. Yep, the Grand Solar Minimum Channel, Eddie, that's right. Um, Enriched Refuge, I'm glad. You got um, your, your melons and watermelons. Um that you saved uh, from seed and saved from farmers markets. That's, that's great to hear. That's great to hear. And you've got the glass greenhouse that you're building. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm glad to hear that you're working on that. Uh, let's see. Pam Sloan uh, using them uh, they're just coming in. I'm hoping I could fix it like the others, but I don't know what it's caused it. Okay. Um, canning lids, one of the shortages. Yep, I saw canning lids. Canning lids are starting to come back in stock right now. Uh, I would pick up extra when you can find them. Exactly, Wolfsbane. Hollow, you got the right idea. Scoop them up when you find them. Um... Polar bush. I I like bush. You collect your beans uh, in a shorter time period, but you get more of them all at once. I, I am liking the bush beans that way. Unless you can grow a lot, a lot of trellises of uh, pole beans. And then you can get uh, pole beans that you collect over a longer period of time. Uh, great for eating fresh. Not so great um, for trying to do batches of canning. So bush beans would be the way to go if you're trying to get a lot of them all at once. Uh, Food Saver website had the canning sealer uh, jar sealers in stock a few weeks ago. Twenty five bucks for kit uh, for the kits. They've been hard to find on Amazon. I know. I put I put a link out to them, and I thought they were available, and it turns out they weren't even available. So um, I have an Amazon link on the on one of my videos. Uh, where I was canning up, dry canning, a batch of greens powder. I dehydrated my greens, my, my kale, and I was saving it in the jars. And unfortunately, the, the dry canning vacuum sealer attachment just wasn't available at the time. Uh, Tatler lids. Those... I've heard mixed results on Tatler lids. Are they actually working for you? Um, uh, CM. Uh, CT Mom, I've got uh, 24 dozen boxes of each of the Mason's Art lids. Nice. That's, that's great. Gene W. Make sure they keep their seal. Uh, check the site. They're available not too long ago. The shipping was not bad either. Okay, good. Uh, started canning again after years of not having done so. Uh, I got my jars with lids earlier this year, but others who have their jars are running into the shortages. Uh, Wolf's Main Hall. Yeah, the, the shortages are ongoing. Uh, we've, we're lucky out that things are starting to come back around, but 
there's definitely shortages happening on those. Um. Huh. Nate. <laughs> oh my gosh, planting hair on the top of my head. Yeah. I, I wish I could. I, 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 I should start wearing hats. That, that's what I need to do. I just need to cover it up. <laughs> my chest yeah I it's my healthy eating I I well no I I've had a a, a, a hairy chest for a long time Nate uh. <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see here so Planted bull, bull beans, uh, Bordeaux. You planted bull beans on uh, the chain link, and you were having issues with the deer eating them. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I had issues uh, trying to grow pull, uh, peas on the fencing over at my grandparents' house because the rabbits were getting them. They would eat them off before they even got up. Um. see here. Uh, so, I was asking about what causes misshapen netting on peppers. I'm not sure. Uh, watering, I think. Um, in inconsistent watering, I think, is what uh, causes things with the, things like that. Uh, Eddie Bordeaux um, yeah, six, okay, so, uh, CT Mom says Eddie Bordeaux, that's why I have a six-foot fence. Fence around the fence to keep the deer out of your garden areas. That's the best way to do it, but if you're trying to grow on the fences um, of your property or you, your yard, whatever, uh, it's it's tough to keep the, the deer away. If they're, if they're going to come around to eat your things, they're going to come around to eat your things. Uh, Wolfsbane Hollow, no wearing hats will make you lose more. Oh, great. Um. <laughs> oh, Nate. Um. Yeah. So, we made it to 510. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for hanging out for um, this evening. It's it's great to have you all here, and I love love these conversations. I'm going to try to have them every Friday or every Saturday at this time uh, between four and five. And uh, my my weekly videos are going to start back up. Like I was saying earlier in the program, my kids going back to school. I'm going to be able to take a little time away and just work on work. Uh, because I really need to make this this website and my YouTube channel into my job and be more su sustainable. Uh, I don't like to ask and I, I really don't um, make note of this very often. I have a tip jar uh, PayPal account in the uh, in the description below but really just if you are in need of seeds buy them through my website please. <laughs> I, I try to have the best pricing that I can find or see anywhere and it's just going to get better as the year goes on. My selection's getting smaller. I, I, I will say that. I'm, I'm putting more out. I still have seeds that haven't been listed, but of the seeds that I have, um, quantities are starting to go down and I'm just trying to get this year's crop of seeds sold. Um, We'll be, we'll be having sales on them and, uh, and coupons more and more. Next weekend or the weekend following, we will have a giveaway. Make sure and tell your friends about the channel. And hope you're all having a great day. Uh, stay safe out there. Grow more food. 
and definitely be prepared for anything that um, that might happen in the coming days. It, it's getting crazy, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Thanks again.